Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something special lined up, a dive into the fascinating world of chatter by Ethan Cross. If you've ever found yourself lost in your thoughts or struggled with self-talk, this one's for you. Let's get started. So what exactly is chatter? Ethan Cross explores the inner conversations we have with ourselves, the thoughts that can either empower us or hold us back. It's all about understanding and managing that inner voice. Now who wouldn't want a bit more control over what's going on in their head, right? One of the key takeaways is the concept of chatter versus cheer. Chatter is that negative self-talk, those nagging doubts, while cheer is the positive reinforcement. Cross guides us on how to balance and harness the power of both. Now let's talk solutions. Cross doesn't just highlight the problem. He gives us practical strategies, from distanced self-talk to reappraisal. There are actionable steps we can take to shift our mindset and better navigate our inner conversations. The book is filled with real-life examples and case studies. Cross takes us through situations where individuals have effectively managed their chatter, showcasing that it's not just theory, it's applicable to our everyday lives. What really resonated with me was the idea of distanced self-talk. It's like having a conversation with yourself as if you were offering advice to a friend. It helped me gain a fresh perspective on my challenges and significantly reduce the intensity of my chatter. Such powerful first-hand experiences highlight the real-world applicability of chatter. It's not just about theory. It's about tangible changes we can make in our daily lives. Instead of saying, I can't do this, try framing it as if you're advising a friend. Say, you can handle this. It's just a temporary challenge. It's a simple shift that can have a profound impact on how you approach difficulties. Ethan Cross emphasizes the connection between our thoughts and our physiological responses. When chatter starts to escalate, take a moment for mindful breathing. Inhale positivity. Exhale negativity. It's a quick and effective way to regain control. Visualization is a powerful tool. Picture yourself overcoming challenges and achieving your goals. This positive mental imagery can counteract the negative chatter and set the stage for success. Integrate positive affirmations into your daily routine. Create simple, powerful statements that reinforce your strengths and goals. Repeat them regularly, especially during challenging moments, to counteract negative chatter with uplifting self-talk. Be mindful of the media you consume. Pay attention to how certain content influences your thoughts and emotions. Choose media that inspires, educates, and uplifts, contributing to a more positive internal dialogue. Engage in regular physical activity. Exercise not only benefits your physical health, but also has profound effects on your mental well-being. It releases endorphins, reducing stress and creating a positive mindset, which can help minimize negative chatter. Shift your perspective on setbacks. Instead of viewing them as failures, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Analyze what went wrong. Extract lessons and use that knowledge to improve. This approach transforms negative chatter into constructive self-reflection. Foster a growth mindset. Embrace challenges as opportunities for development. Understand that abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. This mindset shift can significantly impact how you perceive and respond to internal chatter. Create a daily reflection ritual. Take a few minutes each evening to review your day. Acknowledge your accomplishments. Express gratitude for positive experiences and identify areas for improvement. This practice helps maintain a balanced perspective and keeps negative chatter in check. Build a support network of positive and understanding individuals. Share your thoughts and feelings with trusted friends or family members. Having a supportive community can provide valuable insights and encouragement, diminishing the power of negative chatter. Start a journaling practice. Write down your thoughts, emotions, and reflections. This not only helps you gain clarity, but also serves as a tangible record of your progress. Over time, you'll notice positive shifts in your internal dialogue. Practice mindful eating. Pay attention to the sensations, flavors, and nourishment your food provides. This mindfulness extends to your internal dialogue, promoting a healthier relationship with food and reducing negative chatter related to self-image. Take intentional breaks from technology. Disconnecting from screens and social media allows you to reconnect with yourself. Use this time to engage in activities that bring joy and peace, fostering a positive internal dialogue. How do you distinguish between constructive self-criticism and harmful chatter? That's a great point. Ethan Cross touches on this in the book, emphasizing the importance of constructive self-reflection. It's a about finding a balance and using feedback to grow rather than letting it become destructive. I want to hear from all of you. If you have more questions or if there's a specific topic from chatter you'd like us to explore in future videos, drop your thoughts in the comments. This channel is a space for collective learning and your input matters. As we conclude this multi-part journey through Chatter by Ethan Cross, I want to express my gratitude for each one of you. Your presence, comments, and shared experiences enrich our discussions. Let's keep this positive and uplifting community spirit alive. If you haven't joined our community yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and become part of our growing family. Together, we'll continue exploring books, 
sharing insights and supporting each other on the path to personal growth. Thanks for being here, and until next time, keep chatting positively. See you in the next video.